What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Barbecue. What I'll be doing today is going to be some pan seared swordfish and a brandy cream sauce. Anyway, I'm following a recipe from the famous chef Eric Repair. I saw this recipe and figured it was something that I had to do. Anyway, let's come on in, take a look at these ingredients, and we'll get knocking it out. So here's the ingredients we're working with. I have our swordfish here, and I am trying to get this as dry as possible, get as much moisture out of there as I can. We have some salt, some pepper. I have some more coarse ground green peppercorns, some lemon juice, capers. Now this is my addition to this recipe. He did not have that in his. Some butter, some brandy. I'm happy to be rolling with the E and J on that brandy. And we have some heavy cream. Anyway, first thing I'm going to do is get these uh, swordfish fillets kind of, uh, or swordfish steaks uh, trimmed up. So let's start with that. So as far as this swordfish steak goes, if you look in here, you see a lot of this brown, unappetizing looking scenario going on. I'm just going to kind of come down here. We're going to trim this off. And then we're just going to kind of round this off right here. And this is not going to go to waste. My dogs, I'm sure, will love this. So this is just more of an appearance thing than it is anything else. And we are cutting off that skin there as well. All right, we are good to go. I think that's about it. Let me cut off this skin. I'm gonna go ahead and get this pan heated up and we'll start cooking. All right guys, while our skillet is coming up to temperature, we're just gonna go ahead and hit it with some salt and pepper and that's really all we're gonna do. Nothing fancy on this one. Alright guys, I have my skillet at a medium high heat. I'm using avocado oil and the recipe that inspired me, they use canola oil. I believe either would be fine. Let's go ahead and sear these off on both sides. Two minutes a side. Alright guys, that's two minutes. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Go another two minutes on that side. All right, that is two minutes on this side. Let's get a clean plate. Just going to set this off to the side. And I'm going to actually wipe this pan out and we'll start our next steps. All right, guys, our next step, we're going to go ahead and get some butter in here. A little bit of this peppercorn. And we have our capers without any juice. And cook this down for a minute. All right, guys, that is good to go. Let's go ahead and add some of this brandy in. Let's see if we can light this up right quick. Let that alcohol burn off right quick. Now that that alcohol is burning off, we're going to go ahead and add some heavy cream to it. Our lemon juice. Some salt. And we're just going to let this cook for about three minutes to reduce. So this sauce is thickened up real nicely. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut this swordfish up and get ready for our taste test. So that is a wrap right there. Time to get in see what I think about this. I kind of paired this with just some roasted vegetables, some tomatoes, zucchini, 
onions, stuff like that. All right, let's get in. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, this is some good stuff. I can see rocking this out with like some tuna. You know, I can almost see doing this with beef as well. You know what? This is a very flexible recipe. I'm, I think I am gonna try it with those two just to see how it turns out. Anyway, you know, I'm about to take another bite. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Give this recipe a try. Very simple, very easy. Hope you like it as much as me. Catch you on the next video. I'm getting down.